Hello friends and welcome to Thrower Gaming. Sony released a state of play that was focused solely on the PS5's user interface. Finally, a new, sleeker, smoother, faster UI is one of the most exciting things about a new console. Let's dive into the biggest revelations that Sony offered up about the PS5's UI. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this and want to see more. These aren't in any particular order, except for the first item, which is indeed the coolest. Picture-in-Picture picture is available while you are playing games. You can use this to watch a help video while you are playing, you can watch a friend playing a game while you yourself are playing, and I wonder if this will extend to streaming from the PS5 itself, allowing you to place your camera feed in your choice of screen location while you live stream your awesome game skills to the world. No longer limited to the single layout of streaming on the PS4. If you want to watch one of the aforementioned videos without losing any visibility of your game, you also have the option of pinning the video to the side and having the gameplay area shrunk down to fit the remaining space. It remains to be seen if you can extend the videos to watch YouTube videos, which would be amazing, but for now it is only confirmed to watch friends and game studio supplied content. Next up, the PS5 will track your game progress and provide activities, details, and even remaining time estimates. This relies on data supplied from the game developers and so will be available on a game-by-game -game basis, but what they showed off was quite interesting indeed. Outstanding missions can be listed, steps needed to complete missions, and the time estimate itself, previously mentioned, is said to be personalized. Who knows how this actually works, but if it is indeed personalized, Sony must presumably use the game statistics for completing earlier missions and use that to paint an estimate for time going forward. Speaking of those activities, the third item on our list is exclusive to PlayStation Plus subscribers, but it can prove to be a handy addition. Tired of getting stuck looking for your umpteenth collectibles, checking every corner and still coming up short? You have to flip out your phone, load up Google or YouTube, and start searching for your specific issue. And lo and behold, as you are scanning the available articles and videos, you stumble across the plot twist ending for that game. The dreaded spoiler. Wait, Darth Vader is Luke's father? No! While now games can supply their own help videos for you to follow via the picture-in-picture -picture feature, listed earlier. Cool. Next, the PS5 will capture screenshots and videos via the Create, aka the Share button, at resolutions up to 4K. This will be a huge boon to those looking to share their gaming achievements, and show their gaming prowess. The PS4 can share videos up to 720p, and the PS4 Pro currently up to 1080p. So 4K video means the quality of PS5 self-captured content may make it unnecessary to purchase additional capture devices for the task. Finally, the UI is clean. This is probably the greatest asset of the UI itself. While picture-in-picture -picture is indeed the coolest feature, it doesn't mean much if it isn't displayed in a pleasing manner. The default menu is now a much freshened up version of the PS4's quick menu which you used to have to hold down the PlayStation button to access. Now called the Control Center, a simple tap brings up the simple, elegant HUD, revealing those activities, news feeds, what your friends are doing, and the wider menu and settings options. From there, you can navigate to the home screen for a more familiar tone, resembling the current PS4 menu. But this time with the game icons now aligning the top of the screen rather than the middle. This provides additional room underneath for relevant icons, details, or just empty space keeping the clean look and feel. So, what is your favorite part of the PS5's UI? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Well friends, have a fantastic day.